don't think I could have done it without your help. I really, you guys were awesome. Really, thank you. Hey, where were you? You weren't at the uh, rally. I know, I'm sorry, but you know, I heard you moved up two points in the uh, polls. Yeah, don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. I'm not going to happen, I don't think. I'll still lose anyway. No, don't give up. Miracles happen, I know they do. Come on, Ron. Okay, I don't think you came here for the campaign, so what's, what's up? I'm looking for Gabrielle. What was all that talk about miracles? Nothing. Hey, you can't fool me, Marcy. I know something's up. What's up? You know what? I'm in the mood for a burger. All right, come on, spill. Talk to me. Look, if you can't talk to me, who are you going to talk to? Kelly, I'm glad it's you. Come on in. Where's Kevin? He's working. What's urgent? Your brother Paul is in there. What? My half-brother. What is this, an ambush? Why is he here? Because I invited him. What? Yes. He wants to get to know his family better and... Well, I like him. So would you if you gave him half a chance. Why, because we share the same DNA? Because he's a very intelligent young man. Sweet? The way you were at that age. Oh, please, Dory and I was a long way from sweet. I think he needs a friend. I'll buy him a dog. I think you could use a friend. Oh, here we go again. This is about Kevin now, isn't it? Kevin is working? Mm -hmm. And you're wandering the halls alone. You are projecting. Don't put this on me, Dorian, because you're lonely because Blair's gone. Oh, Blair will be back home as soon as she comes to her senses. She's never going to marry Walker. You were pro-Walker just a few days ago. What happened? I just don't think she should rush into marriage with a man she barely knows. Why, you think I should embrace Paul? I hardly know him. Blair loves Walker. It's too fast, and you're not fast enough. Sorry, Star called earlier and the Justice of the Peace was on his way to the penthouse to marry them this afternoon. Walker, are you down here? No, I thought he was up there upstairs with you. Okay, what are you doing up so late? Watching The Exorcist. Okay, all right, Star, you can get up and get up in your bed. But, Mom, I couldn't sleep. Oh, and you think watching a horror film is gonna help that? Well, I couldn't help it, Mom. You and Walker, you were supposed to get married tonight. Well, you know what? It's a good thing I didn't, because I don't know where my husband went. How's our hot little newcomer doing, Rackham? Well, she's uh, the real deal boss. Solid. Let's hope the honeymooning husband stays out of her way. Well, he's as hungry as she is. But that Natalie, she wants that championship. Hmm. Pity. Let me ask you, uh, who's going to tell her that she's going to throw it? Did I ask you? Give me McBain. upstairs. Flynn? I can wire you the money from an offshore account as soon as the bank opens there. I said cash, Bannon. No paper trails. How am I supposed to get a hold of that much cash in the middle of the night? Oh, not my problem. I want you on the first plane out here with that cash, or I tell Blair everything. You're not listening to me, Flynn. The money is tied up. I'm cash poor. Tomorrow, Manning, or your little masquerade is over. Why don't you go in and keep your brother company? Why don't you answer the door? 
I will. Go. Please. All right. What? I'm coming. What do you want? Money. Lots of money, and you're going to give it to me. Why should I? You just married my niece without inviting me. No, I didn't. Blair bailed on me last second. <laughs> Thank heaven! The wedding's still on. Blair wants me to prove myself to her, and you're going to help me. How? I need $500,000 in cash right now. Should I give you a penny? It's a loan. Why should I lend you a penny? You love Blair and those kids? I do, but they're my family. Well, you... You must have some money. You bought the sun. Not cash. What kind of trouble are you in besides expensive? I can't talk about it. Come on, Dorian. You talk big about family loyalty. Now's your chance to put your money where your mouth is. Excuse me. If you love Blair. Loving Blair is not the issue. I don't trust you. I'll tell you why you should. I would do anything to make Blair and those kids happy, just like you would. What are you looking at? Blair always falls for the same kind of guy. Cold. Yeah, cocky. And definitely weird. Who she prefer, me or Kevin Buchanan? Ah. Dorian didn't mention you were coming by. Hmm. She's sneaky that way. You're leaving? I don't want to intrude. You're not intruding, sit, please. Dorian would kill me if I chased an attractive young man out of her house. I don't know anyone else in town. And you're my only family. And the way you ran away from me before reminded me of me. That was rude. I apologize. There's no need. I, I probably shouldn't have popped up out of the blue like that. I know you thought I was a scam artist, but I, I really don't want anything from you, I swear. It's just, you know, my life is so complicated. And having... A brother show up all of a sudden, it just, it complicates it so much more. From what I've heard, siblings can actually help each other. Thank you. You're even better than the last time that I saw you. What are you guys doing here? Oh, well, you know, we thought that you might need a cheering section. Carlana has Jamie. Cool. Let me get you a drink. Yeah, I could use one after that long flight. Be right back. So, it looks like things are going really well for you and Antonio. Yeah, well, it's our first time away together, so... <laughs> well, I tell you what, I am going to win this tournament for you guys just to thank you for putting on such a wonderful wedding. Natalie, you don't have to thank us. You know, right now, just everything's just so perfect. Excuse me, a business. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you did great, kiddo. Next stop, you play the killer. Yeah, I've heard about her. She's great. You see, you, you, have you seen her games? No time. How many times do I have to tell you? If you don't know their strategy, how do you expect to beat them? I got married. That's why we wanted you here. We need you to win this. I'll try. Try is not good enough. The boss wants you in the finals. Look, do you think that I want to lose? She'll win. I'll make sure of it. Hey, Max. What are you doing here? My coach, I hope. Coach, huh? Question, can she deliver? I guarantee it. Beautiful. I'm sorry about your son. Thank you, Robert. Max, you didn't have to come all the way down here with what's going on. Uh, actually, it's easier for me being here. Well, tell you what. 
We'll win this for Al. And I thought things were getting better. And then I came home from the wedding. She packed up all of her stuff and moved out and left me a note said she took a room here at the palace. Well, Bo, you know what she's going through. Just give her some time. I wonder if I took her for granted. Oh, come on. She knows that you love her. I wonder. You know, I, I didn't even realize how much until she broke it off. Well, now's your chance to tell her. I'm surprised you even went. I could not go. You know, I never thought I'd care about fancy weddings and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, that's good, because we're not the Buchanan's. Oh, no, it's, it's not about the money. Ron, Al and I, we were for keeps. You know, we, we hated each other when we first met, but... Well, from the moment he first kissed me... <laughs> I know, not everybody gets that, Mars. No, oh, I know. I know, but when Father Joey said, as long as you both shall live, I'm sorry, I can't talk about this. Hey, 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 what's it? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up, Tony? You used to like me just fine. Oh, yeah, before sure. Before Blair and I decided to get married. That was before things got so serious so fast. And why does that bother you? Hmm? Because my niece is definitely not a good judge of character. And I would prefer that she erred on the side of caution. And be alone like you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I don't trust you. For many reasons, but most of all because of what you did to your own brother. What I did to my brother? What about what you did? I don't want my niece ever involved in something that dangerous again. Then let me the money. I will do anything. To keep those kids and Blair safe and happy. I want 20% interest. Ten. This isn't a negotiation. You've got Mitch's money stashed away someplace. Go get it and pay me back. I'll take 15%. But don't let Blair ever know about this. To do. Not so fast. What about collateral? If I don't pay you back, you can have my shares in the sun. I want it in writing. That's fine. Just don't you tell Blair. Of course I won't tell her. It would break her heart. Rackham said the new Mrs. Vega is very ambitious. The girl won't be a problem, Flynn. Mm -hmm. And the ever-present husband? Handled. Look, I got Natalie this far. I'll do whatever it takes to see this thing through to the end. No mistakes, Jonathan. I promise you, I won't be the loser. Yeah, redhead's got it going all the way. She's my wife. Yeah, you want to put some money down? Uh, I'm your guy. Uh, no, no, I, I had a bad experience once. <laughs> Case you change your mind. Putting money on your woman to win would be a real vote of confidence, I'm telling you. I'm Jessica Buchanan, Natalie's sister. So, uh, what brings you to Lost Wages? Um, I'm just here to see Natalie play pool. Why are you here? Here to make sure she doesn't lose her focus. Yeah, well, she's not gonna lose her focus, so don't worry. Any luck? 
room 1512. And it's got a hot tub. Well, it's a good thing I didn't bring very much to wear. You know, I never thought we'd be able to do this. Uh, you know Walker's probably out getting you some big surprise. Oh, yeah, where? The 24-hour surprise store? Huh. Um, oh, hi, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. was just here and he tells me that you were halfway through a wedding ceremony when you suddenly regained consciousness. Look, I was going to call you tomorrow. Didn't you think I would be interested? It was a spur of the moment. I thought you'd understand. As the head of this family, I should have been informed, invited. L look, I'm sorry. I, I was afraid you'd try to talk me out of it. And really... I should have heard it from you, and not from that man. I didn't even know he was coming over there. <laughs> he not only was over here, but do you know, while he was here, he managed to talk me into... Uh, look, Dorian, I, I gotta go, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye. What's everyone doing up so late? Well, I woke up and you weren't here. I guess you were over at my Aunt Dorian's. Uh, yes, I was. I went over to tell her about the almost wedding. Figured she'd really hit the roof if she heard it from somebody else. Well, she wasn't too happy about hearing it from you. I tried. Hi. Right. <laughs> Shouldn't you be asleep? Shouldn't you? You mad? No. Dorian difficult? I'll say. Well, thank you. Wow. Does that mean I get extra bonus points? You want to score some extra bonus points? <sighs> Stop. Why don't you go to sleep? Leave the popcorn down here. Oh. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. What? It's not bad. It's nothing bad. Uh, what? My brother called. Flynn called. He needs my help. And I have to fly to Vegas first thing tomorrow morning. I don't want to be that far away from you, Walker. I will come right back. Okay, well, your family's my family, so I'll just... I'll go with you. I'm so nervous I can barely hold my stick. Look. Don't think about the match, all right? Hey. Focus on one shot at a time. There's nothing in the world except that cue, the ball's in the pocket. Yeah, hey, but what if I can't? You can. Think you have confidence, you will have confidence. Max, I lose this. I go home. Natalie, you can do this, okay? That's why I'm here. I can't be there for Alan. That's why I'm here for you. Heard she's good. She is. I've seen her game. I know her tricks. One shot at a time. Go get her, girl. you to take this the wrong way. You packed up all your stuff, you moved out. How, I know, how am I supposed you're to just do? trying to help me, I know that. But you can't help me right now, especially when all I want to do is crawl back into bed and stay there until it's over, which it is never going to be. Honey, look, you can't turn away from life. I know, Al wouldn't want me to. That's the truth. You, you, you didn't do anything wrong. But I will. I love you. I love you, but you cannot fix this for me. I could try. I could try. We could do it together. You still have a spot. Oh. 
I'm not sure that I can watch them grow up without thinking of Al and me and what we had and what he should have become because it's excruciating. If you love me as much as I believe you do, then you wouldn't ask me to. Thank you for helping Marcy out with the campaign. Oh, sure. No problem. No problem. No, and if there's any way I can convince you to stay in town, I maybe, I don't know, help you find a place to stay. Well, actually, I, I have a place to stay for the time being. Oh, good, because I really think Marcy needs you. Yeah, and I thought she was coming out of this, but uh, now I'm not so sure. My girl. I'm better now. God, I, I wish I could feel you hold me in your arms. I miss that. Kissing you. Close your eyes. You feel that? You feel my arms around you? How about now? You feel my lips? You feel me kissing you? Yes. I do. Would either of you like an adult beverage? Actually, Dor, I was just leaving. Oh, not until I tell you the good news. Blair came to her senses right in the middle of the wedding ceremony and didn't marry Walker. What? Oh, wait, that may not be good news to you, since now Blair is still single. <laughs> Probably I should go. You know what? No, stay. You know, maybe you were right about that thing about siblings helping each other out. Maybe you could keep Dorian busy for me and keep her out of my business. Okay? Hmm. Are you sure you don't want that drink? Uh, decided I'd better stay away from that stuff. Oh? Did you have a problem? Not exactly. Paul, you came here to get to know your family better. Kelly may not be willing to make the first step, but I am. <laughs> it's not the sort of thing you want to lead in with. I'm <laughs> not that easily shocked. Paul, did you have a problem? Only once. Then it's never gonna happen again. There's really no reason for you to go. I'll be back tomorrow night. Listen, I don't want you getting mixed up with my low-life twin. He's dangerous. I think I can handle Flynn. <sighs> you know what I was thinking is maybe we could just, like, spend the night, get a room, no kids, no Dorian. Just you. <laughs> that was easy. Well, go upstairs and pack, and I'll make reservations. All right. Will do. It's not fair. I want to go, too. I'm really good at planning. 
Jack. You can't go. Neither can your mom. Why not? She might find out who I really am. She can never know. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I really don't know. Take it easy. She'll recoup. As long as she don't go crazy like you. What's the matter with you? Do you have any idea how much money is riding on her making the finals? That match was supposed to be a cakewalk. Yeah, well, don't go off on me, boss. And this is a brand new jacket. Let go. Huh? Johnny McBain says she can take the heat. If she loses, the heat will be all his. This better be good news. To the next champ, Natalie Vega. Mm. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. All I did was remind you of what you already know. You did so much more than that. Look, to you and Al, thank you. You hang on to that. Now go upstairs and get some rest, huh? You got a big day tomorrow. See ya. tonight I'm okay you know I'm I'm totally gonna win tomorrow no you won't you're losing your next match gee thanks what kind of a sponsor are you you're losing the finals Natalie you want me to lose on purpose without making it look too obvious yes no I even worked my butt off to get here you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for my people lady Tough. okay this is the first thing that I have ever loved in my life I have a chance tomorrow to actually win a title, so don't think that I'm going to throw everything away for some guy I don't even know who's running some sort of scam. You work for me, kid. Yeah, well, not anymore. This is my life. You don't throw that tournament tomorrow? And you don't have a life? You're serious. That's serious. And if you mention one word of this to your new husband, It'll be a double funeral. Congratulations, Mrs. Vega. Yeah. It's not over yet. Tomorrow is going to be. Why did I have to break that mirror right before our wedding? This is when you're so superstitious. Come on. Look how lucky we are. Trust me. We're going to have the best marriage in history. Come on. I know what to do about those pre match jitters. That's it. Nothing to cause this. And I know that you love me. But I have to do this on my own. Business is doing great back in Jersey. Good. And, uh... Nora. Hi. Hey, hi, Kelly. You join me in a nightcap? I can't, I can't. I have to go home and relieve the sitter and stuff. I'm sorry, do you know Ron Walsh? This is, um, Kelly Buchanan. Yes, hi. Hi. Good to see you again. Good okay, you. I have got to run. See ya. Bye. Good night. Nice seeing you. You too. Um... Join me? Doesn't look like my sister's gonna be coming back anytime soon. Okay. Okay. Nora, do you have a moment? Sure. I, uh... 
I didn't mean to, but I've hurt both. I didn't want to. No, of course you didn't. So I, I find that I need to ask a favor of you now. Okay. I mean, I would do anything not to hurt him, but I, I did. So I need for you to be a friend to him now more than ever. Could you do that? Of course I will. Every night is beautiful. I never realized that before. Marcy, you have to believe, okay? Believe in miracles. I do. So you didn't like the clown joke? No, I didn't. Can I get you some funny thing before we close tonight? Um... Well, I'm trying to give my sister some space, so if you let me buy you a drink, it just may keep me from going outside. Okay. Um, vodka giblet. And I'll have one more, please. Um, on second thought, will you make it a cosmopolitan? Thank you. Now, my cousin Blair and I once threw cosmopolitans at each other in public. Really? <laughs> yeah. What were you fighting about? <laughs> what else? A man. Star? Sweetie? Oh, my stomach really hurts. <laughs> well, you are hot. Let me go get the thermometer. Hey, you like the heck? <laughs> okay, open up. Okay. There you go. Keep it under your tongue. Gotta keep it in there for a while, all right? All right, we're on the first flight. What's wrong? She says her stomach hurts. Oh, uh, well, that's, uh, that's probably just because of all the excitement and the... Just as the piece said, he was recovering from a flu, so... Oh, this poor baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you aren't fine. You have a very high fever, Star. Very high. Well, don't worry about it, okay, Mom? Hetty will take care of me while you're in Las Vegas. If you stop, I'm not going to go to Las... I can't go to Las Vegas. I can't. Mm -hmm. Disappointed, but of course I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Walker. I guess I have to go call the doctor. Okay. Way to go, Shorty. They don't call me a great one for nothing, do they? You know what, Dad? You have to pull yourself together. I'm not always going to be around to save your butt. Being in the military is tough. But actual fighting, it's nothing like you would expect. I can imagine. I watched a friend die on the floor of my chopper. I thought I was next. We all did. So, when we got to port, we did everything you could imagine to forget. Young soldiers on leave, uh, I would expect no less. It's one night, I went overboard. I, I was blind drunk, and I ended up hooking up with this girl, a knockout. But she ended up being real trouble. What kind of trouble? It doesn't matter. I learned my lesson never again. What happened to the girl? Don't know. I hope I never do. It's, it's late. Where are you staying? In the palace. Why don't you stay here? I don't want to put you out. What? Your family, and there's plenty of room. Why are you being so nice to me? Maybe because you're the first person who's been considerate to me all day. You're kidding, right? No. <laughs> there were supposed to be two weddings here in Landview today. And I wasn't invited to either one of them.
to place a bet on tomorrow's tournament final? Natalie Vega. To win. Hey. Well, uh... Did you just think about what I said? Yeah. And? I don't want anyone to get hurt. So I'm gonna throw the match. I'll show you how to make it look convincing. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Put Walker on. No, I'm not gonna put him on. I want you to tell me exactly what this is about. You know what you're picking up? Oh, you can't win. Can I? Seems a little edgy. So she's not gonna win. You said what? started when Alexis married Blake and had two kids, Stephen and Fallon. Oh, wait, there was also Adam. He was kidnapped at birth. Then later, Amanda makes herself known. See, when Alexis left Blake, she was pregnant. Amanda was raised by the nanny, not the one from Flushing, the one who was with the professor. Get the full story on Dynasty weekdays at 4.